Welcome back to Basin Motorsports for another day here in the garage. So if you followed along in the Wide Fox build, you know I've had an electrical issue with the ignition or however you want to call it. I've had this stutter issue from 2200 to about 3000 RPM. So I started replacing components and I've come down to basically that it is the distributor that's probably causing me the most issues. So I bought a new distributor and I replaced the TFI module, swapped it over, and I immediately had an issue. So today I'm going to show you guys how to relocate or how I am going to relocate the TFI module and get it out of the failure prone area attached to the distributor on top of the engine directly in front of the radiator or behind the radiator, however you call it. This is my solution to fixing the age old problem of the TFI modules that constantly overheat. All right, so here's what we're working with on the Wide Fox. So in order to do this, the TFI module is right here and my line or my wires here run under the intake and along the back up in this harness and in. I'm gonna take the TFI module and I'm gonna relocate it down back in here. And I'm also gonna make an aluminum cover for it. So in order to do this, what I'm going to do is disconnect, uh, obviously, the cap and rotors here, disconnect the coil coming into it. Uh, I'm going to take this intake off, which is the four bolts on the, the plaque come off. Then there's, uh, I think, six bolts total on the intake. That's going to come off. Unplug the uh, thing here. Oh, I can't even remember what it is. That sensor, and then take this off. Math disconnect, take off the intake. So I'm going to expose the whole top of this engine and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to take this TFI, route it back here, and then make a jumper harness from the distributor that will run the same path down in and to my bypass location. Alright, so with the intake out of the way, now what you see is you've got the distributor that's right here, you've got your TFI module and then the plug-in here. Now this plug-in, if you remember back when I re-tucked all this stuff and re-loomed it all, this is all run individually and it kind of bundles up in here and then runs all the way back in this loom all the way to the back up here. So what I'm gonna do next is unplug it here from the TFI module and I'm gonna de-loom all of this so that I can take out the TFI, the wires coming out of the back and the plug. I wanna take that loose because they're all individually, or they're bundled together inside an aluminum foil. And I wanna take that loose out away from everything else uh, detach it here and I'm also going to take this grommet out in the firewall so that I can uh, shorten these length of wires and if you look back in here where this X is that is exactly where this TFI is, is going to go so the brake line comes down in you've got that hole through there and I'm going to put my TFI down in here with an aluminum cover blocking it from the engine bay all right so now you can kind of see that I do have the TFI module that is gone and I've got all the loom off. So you can kind of look down in there. That's all the injector harness going back up in, all the way up and around. And then that big gobbledygook of wires there is basically a, the merge point. So I've cut all the tape off so that I can get the TFI module. Now the module you see is right there. Just setting in there, just kind of, I guess looking at it, seeing what I want to do in there. And all of that loom sitting up and out is the TFI module from that back to the ECU. Now all of that I am not going to cut and um, tuck or shorten. Rather what I'm going to do is just tuck it down in there and keep it the length it is just in case I have to change anything else. That way I don't cut it all up, figure out it's not going to work, and then I have to do something else. So I'm going to leave it, just tuck it back down inside the firewall. That's why I've got the grommet out. If I show you with my finger, that grommet right there is out. So you can kind of get a better closer look here. So. That's everything going down in. Pulled the grommet out, so this is this shielded stuff with the aluminum foil on the outside is going to be your signal wire coming from your module, which is down here, and that's going back up in. So you've got kind of your other pieces here, but this is your signal, and these are the ones you want to keep. Keep these with aluminum foil to make sure that they don't pick up any different signal or anything else. So you can kind of look down in here. The module, it's got a, a, a huge room around in here to be mounted in here, so I've got some ideas for this. I'll show you, and then I'm going to build an aluminum uh, cover to go over this to kind of keep the heat off from the exhaust, which is down there. Keep that out, and if the worst case, 
I'll wrap that exhaust and kind of keep the heat off of it here. So next, uh, I'm going to try and get back and get all this reloomed back up because I don't need it. Get this kind of tucked up in here and then start working on mounting this module um, down in there so that I can run my, let's pull back, I can run my jumper from the distributor back thrown through this all the way and down into the module and then kind of button it all up. Very simple process, but it's just time consuming to take all this back apart and do it all. All right, so quickly I'll show you what I'm doing for my jumper harness. So I measured out from the distributor back to where it's going to go. So I'm using four different colors of wires just so it's easy and I don't get them confused. So I've got a 16 gauge white, 16 gauge blue, 16 gauge black for my signals from the distributor going to the TFI module in its place where it's moving to. And then I have a, uh, a thick green copper wire, which I'm not even sure what that is. It's probably like 14 or something. Anyway, what I am doing, which is going to be crazy to some people, but I've made a jumper harness, which has three connectors. Now these are uh, the blade connectors and they've been shaved down just a little bit. Uh, they're a little thinner, but they do fit into the TFI module. And then I have a ground. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've shielded the three wires and then I have a ground wire. So essentially this is a Faraday cage for signal block. So if you can look this up online, and honestly I don't know if this is exactly going to work, but I'm going to try it. So this is aluminum foil like you would use in your kitchen to bake cookies. And the shiniest part is facing out, which is what I found online. And then I've got this ground. So any signal that uh, this should block signal in and block signal out and then the ground wire itself keeps also um, keeps it from picking up any kind of electrical interference and all that grounds it out and sends it to you know the, the chassis itself instead of transmitting it into these wires so these will be my jumpers from the distributor and where the TFI was and it will go all the way down so I've got a length you can see the uh, copper is wrapped around it and again, these are just um, just aluminum foil, like you'd bake cookies with. And then I've got to do um, some shrink wrap. So this is 5 16 shrink wrap. Barely fits in there, but I'm going to run this all the way down it so that it's all contained. And then uh, on the other side, I'll run connectors, some uh, slot connectors that will go on the TFI module. But if you guys are shaking your head thinking, what in the world is this dude doing? Well, I saw it online, so we'll see. Is the internet going to let me down? Oh hell, who knows. We'll try it though. Alright, so everything's wired back together now. So I have my three prongs that go up into the distributor. So it goes white, blue, black, which I need to know for over there. And then you can see this is a ground. Now, the housing on the distributor itself is aluminum. So that ground wire there isn't really going to provide like a solid ground to it. It's meant to get any residual, ew, that's a hard one, residual. And this kind of this flexibility here that comes in there gives me enough that I can twist this. This should be close to about 10 to 12 degrees before top dead center. And then you can kind of look back down in. So the harness is all the way in, all the way around. And you can see both plugs there are just sitting there. So I need to plug in my module and put it all back together. And at that point, what I'll do is I'll put the intake back on. Um, and then really I want to, before I worry too much about the cover and everything else, I'll plug the module in. I'll just kind of set it there. I'm going to put the piece of aluminum I have basically just sitting kind of blocking heat. Rather, I haven't shaped it into the cover itself. Uh, I'll put the module there just to test it. See, make sure the car will start, it'll run. And now before it ran, probably to about two minutes before the distributor shut off. So one thing I want to test to make sure is that the new distributor I bought is not the problem of it stopped working. I really thought it was a poor install job on the TFI module, which I didn't re-grease it. I just took it off the old one, put it on the new one. So there really wasn't a good thermal grease on the back of it. Uh, or the thermal paste between the distributor and the TFI, which allows it to get hotter than it needs to be, and obviously it shuts off. So I want to run it, run it for about two minutes. I want to get to that same temperature, 
prove that it actually is going to work this way and then I will worry about uh, permanently mounting the module and then forming the cover to kind of be my heat shield, my heat block of the module itself. So let's get it back together. We'll start it up. You guys have said, and we sure haven't heard the thing run or anything else. I'll get you a little clip. It's nothing exciting. It's got some old rusty uh, flow masters on it and that, but we'll get it up to temperature, let it fire and let it run and uh, see if this has worked. Because if it doesn't work, well, then it's back to a different plan. All right, so the intake's back on. Everything's in, everything's plugged in. I've double checked it all. The only thing I haven't put on is obviously the top plate there. That's just uh, kind of the last bit thing. So you can kind of see, go right in here. Module's all in, ground is all in, and everything there is good to go. Now it's a matter of uh, getting there, turn the key. Let's see what happens. So, I've been trying for a while and I've almost killed the battery on this car trying to get this thing to start. So initially it would start up, it would run for 2-3 seconds and turn off. Run 2-3 seconds, turn off. I tried adjusting the timing, I tried everything. And at this point, it just flat won't even try anymore. It's like it's not getting any signal from the distributor. So, I'm almost wondering now if I burned up my new distributor. Which if that's the case, ouch. So, I'm going to abandon this project. I am going to uh, I am going to take the grommet out. I am going to pull out the TFI routed harness. I'm going to pull it all the way back to the distributor. Put the TFI back on the distributor. Plug it back in, and I'm going to see if that even fixes it. If it doesn't, and the distributor is completely bad, I'll switch back to my old one. Um, and then I'll put the TFI. Well, I I bought a new one. How about that? I've got three distributors here. A new one, uh, a new one that I've now maybe burned out in my old one. So hopefully I can figure this out. So this project is, um, I think is going to be a loss. Going to have to take it all back apart. Um, I'm going to try to put it back, see if it'll even run. If I can get it to run and then I can just strip out the extra harness uh, at, at, at a point and just call this a bad day. Trial and error. So who knows? Stand by, let's see if I can even get back now to uh, to make it run versus what I've got going now. All right, so we got it back. You can hear it idling in the background. So I ended up fi finishing, uh, fixing top dead center. Oh, now it's gonna die, now I'm talking about it. Find it, top dead, top dead center. Double checking what uh, top dead center on first, the number one cylinder was. Switched back to the old original distributor, the old original TFI, and it fired up. So, new distributor or the skeptical one, and I think the timing's off. The new distributor with the old TFI said it worked. So, I think the brand new distributor that was giving me trouble eventually died. I think it just wouldn't even work anymore. So, well, we're gonna try a new one. So we're gonna, I'm gonna switch back over to the new TFI module versus the old. I'm then going to switch over maybe to the brand new distributor that's still in the box. Let's see what that happens. But I need to fix this timing issue. Be right back. Okay, so we got it back running. I've got it set at 11 degrees timing. Nothing crazy. 10 is what the, the uh, board or Shelton recommends. Some guys run 12, some are 14. I'm at 11. Idle is good. It's about 800 RPM, and uh, I'll just kind of walk around and give you guys a little bit of a, I guess you'd say a walk around so you can hear what it runs like. See, here it goes again. Come on now. But anyway, let me get this thing tuned back up, and uh, I'll get you guys some, uh, so you can hear it. I'll set the camera out behind the car. All right, so we got her back. It's running good, running good enough. I feel confident it's out taking it out. So now I've got the 92, the original, the original, original, original. 
distributor back in plus the original TFI and it seems to be fine idling. Now again, I haven't pushed this thing hard so it may go back to the way it was with uh, having the issue of the stuttering. I'm gonna try to figure out which distributor is gonna work. I'm gonna try to put the new one or the newer one back in, see if it'll run or not. Um, I'm, have trouble, I'm having trouble getting it hot enough to uh, really see if this distributor is going to fail or not. Um, and I may just end up putting in the fresh new one, um, the new one and the new TFI straight out of the box to do it. I don't know yet. Anyway. This is my failed attempt at a bypass solution for a relocation kit, and it has failed spectacularly. Well, maybe not spectacularly, but either way, this is my failure. So maybe you guys know what I did wrong. Maybe I, I don't know. I'm wondering if it's the ground of the TFI where I had it versus going to something else. Anyway, I'm going to call it here, figure out what's wrong with this thing. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This is a big failure attempt, but... Hey, you got to at least hear a car run, right? We'll see you next time.